they give that tiny ass little island in a... <laughs> I say island. It may as well be an island. It's a tiny little thing. If those guys can do it, so can we, kind of thing. <laughs> it's like, no, no, you can't. I'll go off. We have been quite lucky thus far with kings that aren't completely insane. Ugh, I've noticed. None of them have got the lunatic trait or anything. I do hate when the game gets so laggy like that. Dragging my shit across the screen, it, it has like a delay sometimes. It's very annoying, very annoying. Get yeah, custom is dealt with. Send these guys back to River Run. Oh, good lord, there's another one. What the hell are you doing now? Huh. Oh, you dumb butt bitch. <laughs> There should be like a minimal strength requirement to rebel against the throne. Unless you have the proper backing or the proper military ability or whatnot, you should just should be able to fucking do it. Like this dumb bitch right here. <laughs> just has absolutely no fucking chance. Actually, her husband is been imprisoned by the king and she thinks in order to do this and to avenge her husband, I assume, she's going to, uh, okay. Ares did technically execute her oldest son, so I don't particularly blame her too much now for her being stupid. But, uh, bit still stupid. Aegon is now just a prick, but, uh, there you go. Figured I'd disband some of those dudes since, uh, my lords are likely really pissed off right now about me having the troops raised for so long. And on our way back to the north, uh, up to the Riverlands, either way, up north towards the Riverlands, we'll deal with the grieving mother and her insanity. And after that. The Great War is over. The Lord's dealt with, and those who ro uh, raised up against the King have been stripped of most of their shit. <laughs> but first of all, Commander John of the Shadow Tower has joined these people. Who's a fray. And the Golden Tooth people, who have already been crushed before, are now also rising up in the name of this random grooving mother in the veil, whose husband is imprisoned. It makes no logical sense. Well, that bitch is already imprisoned. Okay. And Westeros is finally at peace again. It's a bit splintered down in the Reach in the West right now. Until Aegon decides who's going to succeed the Lannisters as Lord Paramounts of the region. 
But for now, at least, uh, victory is ours, and the Targaryen's reign is continuously secure. And my sister is still queen. My nephew, still the Prince of the Crown. And me married to a Targaryen who may or may not be a bastard, but may have inherited the golden hair from her distant traits of Stormland, which I find unlikely. But the game has been really weird with hair genetics before. It's not a... She might be perfectly legit, and the game just might be just stupid. Either way. Alright, uh, yeah, we'll stop recording for a sec, jump ahead to anything interesting that happens. Hey guys, we're back. We, uh, skipped ahead a little bit. John's of Age, managed to get formidable fighter, ambitious, kind, brave, diligent. He's basically a badass, and he's got defender and light 30. He got skilled commander as well, which I thought was odd. I think, I think it's mainly due to him having decent learning, uh, strat that did all that, so to speak. Look at all the dead people he's related to. <laughs> But anyway, um, we are moving on the north, which managed to succeed in one of those liberation factions that it had. So, uh, King Daemon of High Tree is now the king of the north, so to speak. And my nephew, who was previously in charge, is over in... over here, I believe. I think, it, I think he was in charge, wasn't he? Or something. I don't know. Either way, the Starks are no longer in power. The This dude is, and he's married to a... Uh, as well, chick. So, hmm. either way, the Targ forces have gone up into the north right now. We're just sort of camping at the twins, waiting for the Targaryens to do their thing. Since if we move up to Greywater Watch, they're just gonna get themselves hurt. So I'm kind of, yeah, waiting for the Northern forces to attack. Or for Targaryen to move north. Either way. By the way, uh, my nephew... I have a lot of nephews and cousins just everywhere. But the, my nephew controls Moat Caitlyn. And he's currently made himself neutral in the conflict. Which is good, because otherwise he'd be under siege right now. And I wouldn't be able to save him. Hey, John's of age. So, considering that, John can take command of this. Yep. I have no idea what these idiots are doing. The AI is just slowly killing itself with all of the uh, attrition that it's taking. Being very stupid. Yep. Are they actually going to... Uh... No, the Targaryen forces are going to retreat, stupidly. Well, not stupidly, actually. If they attack me at the Twins, I get an advantage, I believe. Okay. They're attacking the Freylands, which John's leading at. Thank you for the kind words. You don't mind. I'm kind of fighting a war. The 25th of May, they're going to arrive. And actually, I should be able to... Yeah, they got 43k, 20... 30, yeah, yeah I should, I'll be able to move over without them changing their mind. We got the advantage of the hills and another 20k forces showing up. So, against the king in the north in personal combat, which is awesome. And my son's in there fighting us as well. It's 50k against 35. We've beaten the crap out of him, should have. In theory. Their king is a better commander, but we, yeah, we've won. That's it. There's no way they can turn this around. Probably shouldn't be saying these things. <laughs> the second I say there's no way they can turn it around is when they pull some amazing move out their ass. Yeah, I'll let John lead the army. Hmm. 
he's a badass. There's no way the Kings were the Starks were no, not the Starks. The Starks aren't even the Kings. I do believe that small Targaryen army delayed them just long enough for me to grab them before they could flee. And yes, victory is ours. A very short thing which secures the north of the Iron Throne. And meanwhile, while they're fighting in the neck, they're already taking over the north. Hmm. He was, uh, made incapable in battle. And he's got no sons, so their little, uh, rebellion in the sea is not going to be around for much longer. But yeah, either way, that is, uh... My son's first taste of real combat. He did well, I think. Very large battle. But we kicked their ass. And assuming that we ever reach the fucking twins, I'll disband the troops. But yeah, I figured we'd show that just to uh, show the north secured. my daughter. 13. Uh, sure, let's marry him to the Reach. Although, <laughs> it's getting a little bit dangerously inbred all this. Nah, she's not even mine, is she? I could swear, no, I, 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 one of my brothers was married to a Tyrell girl, but we never actually married into the Tyrell male line or anything. So, sure, yes. Uh, no, that's not right. Because we need to be betrothed, not marriage, isn't it? Yes. There you go. I'll get the Riverlands in alliance with with the Reach. The Westerlands is actually under the control of the Targaryens as well, which gives them Castle Rock basically a secure alliance with the Iron Throne that they can count on. The Stormlands are still independent, just basically whoever the hell wants, like, you know, being controlled over by the Iron Throne right now. I am Hand of the King. I was Hand of the King before the war, and he's maybe Hand of the King again. So, yeah. Um, I think this might be a nice place to end the series. So, I mean, I, I, I kind of want to play as my kid, John, because he's a ba he's kind of a badass. But uh, my my guy is already a really a badass. How many wars has he won, leading tr leading troops? And I was about I was about to say leading troops because that makes perfect fucking sense. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the series has gone on for a while now, and really the only thing that I, I I don't want to. This is probably the only series I've ever played where I don't eventually screw over the people who I connect to be loyal to. I always end up being king of like Westeros at the end of all of it. Usually. But uh, I don't want that here. Like I said, the Darius have always been Targaryen loyalists. They've risen up to Lord Paramounts of the Riverlands. They're basically friendly relations, or not, if not family, with uh, half of the lords in the Riverlands itself. I've got ties with the Starks and in the North. I have strong ties, blood and loyalty and whatnot with the, uh, with the Targaryens. It's my fucking nephew on the throne, my brother-in-law. Um, in there right now. My brother-in-law is the Westerlands also. And the Westerlands guy is actually married to a Stark as well. Who is my niece, coincidentally. <laughs> but uh, I'm Hand of the King. He's still only 36. because He's got uh, many years uh, left to uh, for his son to become... What? Peasant accused of murder was dragged before you. The court, his wife and children were found butchers in a small hut they called home. And he was standing nearby, covered in their blood, despite... His damning evidence, man, continue to profess his innocence. Meh, sure. Why the hell is it that whenever I get myself a perfect heir, he gets nabbed by the fucking King's Guard? <laughs> Every time in the Dane series, it happened with the bloody Sword of Morning, and now it's happened with John. Why did you take him from me? <laughs> Why? Ah, I'm proud of you, boy. Do me, do me proud. Seriously, fucking goddamn it. <laughs> I had him betrothed to the Lady of Harrenhal as well. We were gonna nick it from her. I suppose Ryan would have to do that from me.
I imagine it'll just get rid of the betrothal on its own, right? Since he's King's Guard, they can't exactly wed. There's that. Oh, uh, it'll do me proud. He's a good kid. His younger son has just inherited a lot of shit. Hopefully, he gets at least skilled fighter before he comes of age. He's still good. Uh, my my youngest son's still good. I just hope that he gets at least skilled fighter before he uh, comes of age. And we will betroth him to the girl that my eldest son was going to uh, to marry. Him. But uh, I I want Harren Hall so I can kind of. Make it my uh, make it my seat, I suppose, because it's a hell of a lot better than Darry. Oh well, <laughs> that's happened. Hey guys, we find ourselves in the exact same situation that we did before, only this time, rather than fighting against Northmen who liberated the North, we're fighting against wildlings who liberated the North and then bent the knee, and now are trying to get an elective succession for the Iron Throne. Anyway, using exactly the same thing, they attack in the Freylands, we move over from the Twins. My son is leading the armies in the Freylands, so he'll take the brunt of the uh, Wildling attack. And they will arrive on the 4th of June in free. Two, one, go. And I arrive and beat the shit out of them. There is also another 2k coming up from uh, River Run as well to assist. I think they're actually wildling units, which is really good because they're just going to get annihilated. Okay, guys. Um, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Um, I don't, I don't want to give these idiots free reign down in the south. Fuck it. We're going to send my son down to Darry with his army. And we'll split these guys in half. Send the weaker unit to the Freylands. They'll target the weaker unit because that's what the AI do. And uh, basically, same trap being set up here. But uh, my son will be in the south dealing with the other wildling forces that I can't afford to just leave running around the place. I do have to keep an eye on these guys, though, in case I forget that uh, they're there. Because <laughs> I, I know I'll, I'll like focus entirely on my kid and then come back up here to figure out that I've just been defeated. What is the Veil vale doing? Some petty peasant revolt than what they're focusing on. Utterly ridiculous. Yeah, if I join up with these Targaryen forces that we've got here. I can easily kill these 1k. We're out too much trouble. I'm checking the north every now and again. Can I get there before they land those troops? Shit, no. Ah, uh, you're gonna retreat. I don't. Even, I don't want you to retreat. You suck, game. Because now they're chasing me to Darry. Okay, I can still pull that off. It would have been better for me to just stay there, but I was shit scared that that other 10k was gonna come over and beat me. In which case, I would have been fucked. But it looks like I can pull this off right here without too much casualties. Which is good. What the fuck's going on up north? I didn't check for a few seconds. I was like, they might have attacked me. Okay, hopefully I can pull this off. That 
Uh, it's almost 2k forces show up and assist. Maybe. Come on, kid, you can do this. You have the power. The Dairy blood is within you, boy. Do it! Do it, I say! <laughs> Come on! Come on, boy, don't screw me. Don't you screw me, boy. God damn it. You want something done, and do it yourself. Pull back, John, with your father. You're a disgrace to the family. I don't even want to fucking look at you. You. Useless 62 men. Go block them off. Well, this is going well. Um, You're going to arrive before he escapes. What the hell are you done now? Several times in the thing could come forth to your court with complaints you know, against the lord who calls himself just. Apparently he's with drunken rampages and establishment and a demanded compensation. Fine, just take the golden fuck off. I have other things on my mind. Have you noticed the, ramp the rampaging wildling hordes that are in our lands? Hmm? <laughs> You come to me bitching about some drunk, pissed lord that calls himself the Just. Get your priority stripes, river, river people. All right, seriously, just yeah, just fuck off. That's all I have to say. Just fuck off. Well, our our uh, trip into the south was nowhere near as uh, productive as I would have hoped it to be. I'm gonna catch you, you fucking prick. <laughs> I'm going to catch you, and I'm going to skin every last one of you bastards alive. Ha! Even if you change courses. Oh, fuck off! Now I'm gonna catch you. And make you pay for making a fool out of my son. <laughs> you prick. Have they got giants with them in that army or something? And this is why they're like being able to hold out against me. <laughs> Boy, trick them into attacking you. I'll be at the twins. Actually, get the back, because I'm not going to make it to the twins in time for you to be alive. <laughs> You'll be dead by the time I get there, dude. Good lord, I need more troops. 
wildlings are probably the biggest fucking. Why am I singing like the Canadian fucking theme tune today? I, don't know. <laughs> I think that's what that was. I don't know why it hit me like that, but there you go. Don't flatter yourselves. I'm pretty sure it was from South Park. <laughs> John, what the f are you doing, dude? Not much, evidently. You married a Stark. A Tremolian as well, so, yeah, cool. Can I ever marry anyone, especially in this time of great crisis and struggle? Uh, he kind of needs kids. <laughs> Stranger's Mercy. I might marry that bitch just for the, uh... Just, just for the sword. The Free Valyrian sword. Ooh, shiny kind of thing. Um... I'm thinking disband my troops first, and then, um... Yeah, disband my troops. Then reband them, and then move up north a bit. Why did I get the Blackwater? When did that fucking happen? <laughs> it's a Frey who got it. But, uh... Interestingly enough. Reminds me, by the way, I married my daughter to the heir to the twins since his father is one of my best, my, one of my best, uh, most trusted bannermen and everything. Actually, that's the guy everyone was bitching about. Uh, Gillum the Just. I'm pretty sure that's the person that was running around the place doing drunken, uh, drunken shenanigans. Not the word that they used, but the word that I decided to use. And as their lord, I forbid them from using anything else. You, would you accept some bribes in order to uh, give me more troops? And we shall gather them at fucking Seaguard. And I might hire some mercs as well. I have a lot of cash. I could use the mercs. Mercs are good. And I have plus eight monthly income as well. So, yeah, fuck it. We'll stick this on times one for a second while I take a look at something here. Um, yes, you, my love, come here and increase the taxation. Yeah, it doesn't really particularly matter on that thing. We'll just make you that. So descent between them. And I'll make you sabotage this the fuckers economy. And uh, I don't really need you training kids right now. To be honest. So yeah. I'm now making almost like nine gold every turn, so I could have probably afford to hire a mercenary band without actually losing too much money. Yeah, the Maiden's Men. That's an extra 2k troops. For a bit of money, and I still will be in the green. So, fuck it. I'll accept the extra amount of extra stuff, so to speak. I always find it hilarious, those little choices where you say the two options are piss off the High Lord or piss off the, um, <laughs> or piss off the nobody who's not giving you much troops. Yeah. Side with the guy who's giving you stuff, dude. Why would you side with anyone else other than the person that's giving you all the stuff? You make of no sense. <laughs> Let's see for a second. I want to leave behind, like one. Yeah, just have twenty k at the twins. 